Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell icon and set your notifications to all. That way you never miss a future upload. Another day, another drama, and today we're going to be talking about did Jeffree Star get exposed for paying off his victims? Now before we get into that, if you haven't seen my previous video titled Nick Snyder, Dustin Daly, Margot Indigo, Drag Perez Hilton, all the tweets, I will link that in a card up over here as well as down in the description box down below. So definitely make sure you go and check that out as well. All right, let's go ahead and get on into it. So the other day I saw tweets coming across my timeline about a website called Sticky Drama that was releasing information regarding Jeffree Star and paying off victims from his past. Now if you're unaware of the entire situation, there's been a person coming forward by the name of Gage Arthur who has alleged things against Jeffree Star and that Jeffree Star did things to him against his will as well as using a device that shocks people to try to get him to do things and so on. If you haven't seen any of that drama, there are definitely plenty of videos that are talking about it so definitely just go ahead and search it and you will find out more information. Now I don't really know much about this sticky drama website. I don't know how reputable they are, but they do seem to have a lot of information regarding Jeffree Star. So I'm just taking what they say with a grain of salt and I'm just listing what they have on their website. Again, these are not facts. These are just my opinions about what they are posting on their website. So let's go ahead and take a look at the screenshots that they posted to the website. As you can see in this screenshot here, you see a cashier's check that is to be paid to Andrew Arthur, which is apparently Gage Arthur's legal name, purchased by Scott C. Andrews for the amount of $45,000. Now with just a simple Google search, I Google searched for Scott C. Andrews, Jeffree Star, and then I found this where it says Scott Andrews, Chief Financial Officer, Jeffree Star at Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So from what I gather here is that Scott Andrews is the Chief Financial Officer of Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and so they would have access to the bank account to be able to make a payment like this. But again, that is my opinion and what I am understanding. I cannot prove this as fact. They also included this screenshot here, which shows a settlement payment, which I'm assuming is part of a larger document, and it reads as follows. Two, settlement payment. A, within two business days of signing this agreement, Mr. Arthur shall be paid $25,000. B, if Business Insider does not publish the article about Mr. Star within three months of the effective date, Mr. Arthur shall receive an additional $25,000. C, Person A and Person B have also retracted their statements to Business Insider. Mr. Arthur shall receive an additional $10,000 for contacting each of person A and person B for a total of an additional $20,000. Now from that first screenshot, we saw that the payment was made for $45,000. And if you've been following this drama, you know that Insider did post an article about this entire situation about Jeffree Star. So we know that B was not fulfilled. So that means that A was fulfilled and C was fulfilled. So A meant that Mr. Arthur did sign that agreement and C meant that those other two people did retract their statements. So we can gather that those two things were met and that the article was actually published due to the payment that was made. Now, one thing that I don't like about this whole situation is that it only shows part of this document. Where is the rest of this document? What other information is contained in this document? Why only publish this part of the document and not the entire thing? I'm a person that I like to see the full story behind everything, and I feel like when you only include one small part such as this, you're just cherry picking information and you're not giving out everything. So I personally would like to see this entire document. If you're going to be sharing this much of it, why not just share the entire thing? What else is in this document that we're not seeing? But again, that is just me. And a lot of people have said in the past that when Jeffree Star starts to come under fire, he ends up going onto his Instagram or to his Snapchat to address things or to draw attention away from them. And they believe that that is happening again because Jeffree Star decided that he was going to be doing a 12 days of Christmas sale on Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Here is his Instagram story where he talks about that. In this first screenshot from Jeffree Star's Instagram, you can see it says 12 days of JSC starting tomorrow. Hey baby at Jeffree Star Cosmetics and then follows that up with the following video. Hey you guys, yes, you heard it here first. Tomorrow, the 12 days of Christmas is here. It starts for Jeffree Star Cosmetics and then of course, the iconic winter mystery box will be here Friday, December 11th. And then in this screenshot from Jeffree Star's Instagram, you can see it says 12 days of JSC day one, the gloss 35% off, blood money collection not included, swipe up. And then he follows that with the following video. I'm sure you guys just saw the 12 days of Jeffree Star Cosmetics has officially started. 
Now, I don't know if this is some kind of attempt to draw people away from the negative press about him and to bring more traffic to his website. Obviously, if you run a sale during holiday time, you're going to be getting more sales and more traffic to your website. So I feel like maybe some of this was already planned in the future. But again, that's just me. I feel like if you're going to be doing something like this, you would want to make sure that you have extra stock of stuff in inventory. So then that way you can fulfill those orders. But we also know at the same time, it seems that Jeffree Star Cosmetics are not selling as well as they used to. So maybe he has extra stock already in inventory and he's just trying to get rid of that by offering these additional sales but again that's just my opinion I don't really know what's happening behind the scenes at Jeffree Star Cosmetics this is just what I'm thinking and things that just pop into my head when I'm talking about this entire situation so again I don't really know exactly what's going on but obviously I'm just here to share the information with you guys now, everything that I've talked about in this video, it's not fact. These are just screenshots that were put online by a website. I don't have access to any of these documents, so I don't really know if any of these are real or not. So take what I'm saying in this video with a grain of salt. Take what's posted on the website with a grain of salt. Until they publish the actual full documents, I don't know what to believe. I feel like, obviously, if this is made public, this is a huge issue if this is true, because then now you're trying to pay people off to buy their silence. And again, that is not legal, so I don't really know exactly what's going on. I feel like something like this will definitely be handled more behind the scenes than it will be in public. I don't feel like Jeffrey's going to come onto his Snapchat or onto his Instagram to address this. I think he's going to have his lawyers just take care of everything. I don't really know exactly what's going to happen, but that's just what I think is going to happen. So we'll have to see what actually happens in the future if he does address this or if he doesn't. But obviously, the more and more information that comes out about Jeffree Star in this entire situation just doesn't look good, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens next. I also did see on Twitter that somebody is alleging that Jeffree Star also does have security cameras in his bedroom, and so there's things going on with that. I don't really understand what's going on with all of that. I have no idea what's going on with that. I just saw the tweet about it, and I'm like, okay... That's weird, but also at the same time, obviously when you're a wealthy person, you're going to have security cameras all around your house, including your bedroom, and you make people sign NDA saying, hey, when you're on my property, just so you know, you will be recorded. You'll be recorded in every room of the house. I'm going to assume every room in the house except for the bathrooms because I don't believe that it's legal to have a camera in your bathroom. So I believe that there's probably a camera in probably every room of Jeffree Star's house except for the bathrooms for security purposes. But again, that's just my opinion. I have no proof of that. But obviously, you're going to make sure that you're protecting your security, especially when you do have people coming into your house all the time, people who don't live there, people who are just working. You're going to make sure that you have security cameras everywhere, so then that way you can protect yourself. But again, that's just my opinion. I feel like that's what a lot of people would do. I don't really know where he has security cameras in his house and if they're in every room. That's just me randomly thinking things out loud. But that is everything that I have for today's video, so I'd love to know what you think down in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell icon and set your notifications to all, that way you never miss a future upload. Alright, that's everything for today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!